Hey guys, RC here, back with episode four, Climbing the Ladder, Football Manager 20. Yes, things are primo good. Primo good. So let's take a look at what's been happening. So let's see, we had the loss and then we beat Strasby Thistle. We beat Forrest Mechanics 5-1. Sandy McGregor, four goals, anyone? Hello? He is in fuego. For Martin, three to one. McGregor adds, uh, McGregor, McArthur adds another one. Phil Sainsbury, our right back, taking the penalty kicks for the team. I want to check that too. Uh, and then Sterling Albion, we get revenge for our lone league defeat. One nil, Ray Devaney with the goal. And Dumbarton, two nil, Ray Devaney and Joshua McGregor. Let's go up into the squad real quick. No, tactics, yeah, set pieces, penalties. All right, I wanted to make sure it was empty. So McFarland, Jones, Brimner, MacArthur. Okay, so Sainsbury's a seven, and that's what's putting him. Why he's taking him over MacArthur, I don't know. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Let's not mess up what's going on. Uh, taking a look at the squad, 18... <laughs> <laughs> 18 goals in 17 matches. One and one. Gotta like that. I don't think I've ever had a one and one striker ever. Ever. I've had a one and two. But one and one is pretty astounding. I want to say my top goal score ever. It had to have been... Uh, I had I had a run in FM 18 with Leeds United and we signed Liz Mousset and James Wilson uh, a couple of young strikers and they had one or two really really good years and then Wilson kind of just fell off the cliff and uh, we signed a guy named Amin Guiri I've mentioned him before but he is probably my favorite most memorable player for me personally in football manager. And I've never been able to afford him since because, you know, he just blew up and then uh, too expensive. But he scored, I want to say he had a 40 goal season for me one year. I'd have to go back and look because I still have the save. Maybe I'll do that one day. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested and I'll just do like a one-off episode where I pull up that old FM18 lead save and we kind of look at that team because they were dominant. They they ran the Premier League for like, I, I'm probably way off, but like 21 seasons, it was unreal. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, if you're interested, let me know. Otherwise, I won't do it. Um, but I, I'd like to go maybe check it out. But 18 and 17 and then uh, Ray Devaney, Four in 17 with eight assists to lead, be the second score. Adam Murphy, one goal, five assists from that other striker spot. That's a little disappointing. I do have him transfer listed, and he's got the 15 finishing. Who else, who else do we have at striker? Bremner. Jack Jones. David Scott. Scott's injured. He tore his hamstring. He's out for three more weeks. He is actually a central midfielder for us. He's not good enough in finishing. So, yeah, I just, maybe I start, I don't know, do I start Bremner up there? Pace, acceleration, work rate. You know what? I think I am going to do that. He's 32, but Murphy's 31. He's got better work rate and de decision-making, determination. Let's put him in there and just see if he gives anything different up top. He doesn't He doesn't play a lot. He's only played, he's played nine matches with one assist. So I'm not, not expecting a whole lot, but anyway. Uh, so competition-wise, we are on 31 points. Cove Rangers has been on a big run as well. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the stages to get the big picture. 
So we've got a plus 23 goal differential. We've allowed six goals all season, scored 29. Uh, so we have the number one defense, number one offense, 31 points, five unbeaten on a bounce. Uh, it's actually more than that. Cove has won four in a row to get back into it, and Gala has dropped uh, two draws and a loss. Uh, the other team coming up is Peterhead, and I believe that's who we're playing today. Yes, it is. All right, so let's get into the matches. Oh, I'm going to put an edit in right here, but I want to go change something. All right, I think I got it fixed. I may have taken off one too many things, but better that than the other way. All right, so we're at home against Peterhead. Uh, we are favorites. They're three to one dogs, so they've won twenty one. Being that we're favorites and at home, I'm going to keep going with this. All right, Johnson's going to get a start. McGinney back to the bench. Uh, I do want to put Bremner. Let's put Bremner up top. Murphy will go to the bench. Yeah, and let's see, who else? So everybody's playing really well. I mean, look at all the greenage up here. 6'6'4 six, six, is the worst guy. A couple of 6'8s. Six, uh, Brimner a 6'6'6. Six, six, six. Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's going to do any better. I really don't want him soaking up anything from MacArthur right now. <laughs> you know? So uh, pick up where you left off. Yep. And play. Now what's going to be weird is now that I've changed from the uh, assistant manager making all the shouts, are we going to start struggling? <laughs> that would be, all right, get creative. All right, they were inspired. All right, McGregor lumps it down. Ray Devaney makes the run to the touchline. It's in, and a header from Brindle goes high. But it was a chance. It was a chance. All right, let's do 10 minutes of demand more to get up to the end of the half. So all I've changed was the assistant manager making the touchline instructions and the opposition instructions. There it is, Bremner, and he puts it in. First goal of the season, and he stole a goal. No, <laughs> but that's good. So we do see another goal up top from one of our other strikers. So that's that might be a good shout. All right, we've got a few minutes left here in the first half. All right, got it down. Oh, he, who's that? God dog it. Avenel. Good save. Keeps his poise and then clears it out. Good deal. All right, let's check our tactic. I want to look. All right, Avenel, central defender on defend. I'm going to drop that one notch. All right, uh, encourage the team. Play it calm. Let's get back out to it. 11 to 5 on shots, only 3 on target. All right, let's get creative again. It's Dobby. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He just, McKenzie just put it up into the grandstand at the south end. Possibly the north end. I don't know. All right, there's a good save by Johnston. Holding on to that 1-0 advantage. All right, I'm going to take McGregor off. Let's put Kareem Daniel in. And Sainsbury for Jody Ransom. Just get those yellow cards off. We don't want to end up... Uh... All right, show some passion. Fire him up a little bit. Oh, uh, he was going to pick his pocket. Oh, there it is, Bremner. Now, can he find his counterpart? He brings it outside to the left. He's got runners coming in the middle. He lays it off. McKenzie, Beatty, Ray Devaney, heavy touch. 
And MacArthur gets a rebound bounce goal. He bounced it off the defender, his 19th of the season, and he is back on the scoreboard. That was crazy. Good layoff ball to him, though. And he took advantage of it. Got a lucky deflection. McKenzie. Oh, and he just pinged that ball. I think they were expecting a pass somewhere, and they just never closed him down. His third goal of the season. And he will take it. And that gives us a 3-0 advantage. All right. Um... Let's go ahead, Kinsey, Brindle for Andy Baxter. Let's do that, and then I want to, well, I can't do that yet. All right. There's the sub. That's what I was looking for. And we're going to do some time wasting here. Confirm that. praise all right they're all fired up except for baxter who just got on and he's like hell with that i gotta go out and score a goal 20 to 10 we end up doubling them 50 percent on target six half chances that's you, you got to be happy with that very good job uh let's see we're gonna go passionate happy with the result and they were fourth in the table so that's good. That actually drops them to fifth. Unfortunately, Cove Rangers wins again. They win 3-1 over Four Martin. Four Martin! And uh, they are still only three points back. Man, that is crazy, isn't it? Bremner ends a goal drought. 39th minute strike. He had not scored in over 20 competitive matches. Jim Gibson, two assists, two key passes. Uh, I'm going to tell him his defense was good. I don't know why he only had one tackle. That was probably the wrong shout. All right, we'll play Clacknacudden coming up in the Scottish Cup third round. We'll see you guys back in a second for that. Oh, real quick, we just broke the consecutive wins record. Six games is a new record. Go team. Looks like Juventus and Roma are playing today. Uh, I don't know why anybody would be uh, interested in that match when they could see Bonnerig Rose and Klackna couldn't, but, you know, that's just me. All right, Ransom is back to fitness. David Scott still recovering from that torn hamstring, so he is not ready just yet. This is the Scottish Cup fourth round. We're on the road, but we're heavy favorites, so I'm going to stick with this tactic. But I believe I'm going to give McGinty the start in goal today. All right, so we're going to have Brindle, Bremner, Baxter, McKenzie, MacArthur. Do I want to bring... I'm going to bring McFarlane on for Murphy. McFarlane's a young player. He's only 20. He can pass decently, decent first touch, good dribbling and finishing, work rate, composure, decision making's not good. But he's got pace, and look at the acceleration. He is explosive. So I kind of want to see what he's doing up top. Sorry about that. I just chopped my head off. Um, don't be alarmed. No YouTube video recorders were injured in this uh, the making of this video. All right. So, yeah, we'll give McFarland a shot up to McFarlane up top and McGinty in the goal. Everybody else is pretty much the same. Uh, Ray McD Ray, um, God, what's his name? Ray, what's his name? Our right winger, he's out. Uh, he needs some rest, so he's not even in the match today. Uh, we are going to tell you passionately, play your own game and you'll win. McGinty, McGinty's morale is in the toilet because he's pissed that he's not starting. You know, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we're wearing yellow kits today. I like those. Ooh, here we go. Baxter, set piece. And he, whoa, I thought he, oh, man, MacArthur loses one to an offsides call. I thought that was in, honestly. I thought it was in the net. Oh, by a step. 
McFarland. He loses. He fights for it. Oh, what a fight. Baxter. MacArthur. He takes a ping. Cleared out. Oh, that was really close to another one for MacArthur. All right, we're putting some pressure on him. We get the ball back. Let's take a look at our tactic real quick. Are we working to the box? No. You know what? Let's do that. Because we're taking a lot of long shots. Header right into the keeper's hands. Well, he got a little flick on header, but nobody's there for him. McGregor controls it. All right, a little bit of good ball movement there. McKenzie, oof, he almost lost that one. Baxter, Brindle, a little heel kick to Daniel. Daniel takes the shot from the edge of the box, and he puts it away. Far post, his second goal. Bobby Brindle with the assist, and that was a very nice finish by him. We hadn't done the tactical change yet, so that just goes into effect. McKenzie plays it over. Sainsbury, he drops it into the middle. Nobody's there. Oh, he was looking to feed it through, and I don't think he saw that defender. That was not a good ball. Not a very good ball at all. Baxter. Daniel chases that one down. I don't know what he was trying to do there. All right, MacArthur, pretty far out from the from the box. All right, out to Daniel. Baxter pings it. He's got his first goal of the season, taking him from the edge of the box. Looks like they're parking the bus a little bit, and you see a lot of our back line guys uh, taking shots. Midfield and back line guys. Taking shots from, from the edge of the box. Yeah, they're playing a 4 3 3. All right, no pressure. All right, they're uninterested. Okay, we don't want to do that again. All right, it's another highlight. There's not a yellow shirt anywhere over there. And why would you throw it out there? That's just that's just poor AI. All right, let's just get to the half here. We've dominated the game statistically. God, I don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to go passionate. You've played well, but there's still room for improvement. All right, we're going to ask him to watch our step. And Sainsbury needs you to calm down. Don't know if he's going to or not, but we'll see. All right, into the box. And another offsides. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, they're both offsides. Bad positioning. All right, let's get creative again. The back line's pressured. Baxter, McGregor. Oh, there's a scramble. Oh, that was not a very good attempt by Ransom. Ugh. All right, Baxter into the box. There's a header. Brindle, he gets credit. Fourth goal of the season. Let's go ahead and pull a quick sub here. Uh, McFarlane. Let's bring on Jack Jones for him. He was struggling a little bit. Really, yeah, Billy Brimner. Let's put Andy Clark up to the right side. Oh, Brindle with the old under the Tiger Woods undercarriage fist pump there. Hitting a little below the deck. 
three one advantage. Let's give them some praise. They are complacent. The praise fires them up. Andy Clark picks up his first yellow. All right, they're going to have an attempt here. Yeah, it crosses the box. Oh, nice ball in. And Glenn Farquhar, Lord Farquhar, puts it past Shrek for the goal. All right, uh, Brindle. If I move Baxter to the left, then I can bring... Nick Manson, first touch, passing. He's got really good passing. I like him. He doesn't play a lot, I don't think. But, yeah, let's bring him on. Brendel's got a goal and assist. He's not sitting on a hat trick, so we're going to go ahead and pull him with 15 minutes left. And you know what? Tactic-wise, uh, we have not gone to time-wasting, so I am going to keep keep that pressure on uh, let's show some passion that fires them up a little bit I made the sub yeah oh, okay yes I did Andy Clark good deal all right four minutes of stoppage time no highlights we do sneak out a little disappointing three to two I think we should have had a better uh, little bit better only three half chances they did a really good job I guess setting up the defense but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to kind of fire into them you may have won but I'm unhappy well Baxter you know you had a goal and an assist I was happy with you we needed better from everybody else all right well that was the win there I don't know when the draw is it's probably coming up we get $14,000. Baxter with a good game. Thank you very much. And we play in seven days, so we'll see you guys back for that. Actually, no, we won't because that was the second match. I just had a brain freeze. So, <laughs> so we're done. We're done for this episode. All right, we're still only three up on Cove Rangers. We talked about coming back real quick from Montrose. Don't want to do that. Or maybe, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Let's play. Uh, let's play Dumbarton and, and <clears throat> whoever we're gonna play in the fourth round. Let's come back for that one. We'll see you guys. That'll give us a good run of games. <coughs> Possibly get towards the uh, you know the the meat of the season. Thirteen league goals for MacArthur. Very nice job. And he has got what? He's on 19 for the season. 19 and 19. He's starting to slack a little bit. We might have to bench him. <laughs> All right, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.